Welcome back to Shennington Junior TKM is the next race up and earlier I spoke to my pre-season pick for the title, Dino Lee. Dino, everyone that knows you knows you've had a really difficult year over the last year. I've already mentioned that earlier on in the programme. But let's talk about Super 1 this year. Uh, I've got you down as the favourite. That's a little bit more pressure for you this year. But uh, what are you hoping for from yourself? Uh, well, I want to win. I want to win Super 1 and I want to win everything, really. You've had a great uh, great start this weekend. You won the first heat, I think, uh, yesterday. Um, you can't win the championship at this first round, but you can put yourself in a decent position. So what, what would you be happy with this weekend? I'm just going to try and keep as consistent as I can and um, just try and make my dad proud, really. No effort required, Dino. He's already very proud. It's going to be a very interesting championship junior TKM in 2014. And just look at the grid for this first televised final of the year. Hornby and Mills on row one with Ron Garrido and Fisher on row two. Graham and Dino Lee is right there in P6. It's going to be a very interesting one. 24 drivers in this first televised final of the year, Alan. And this could be a very interesting start. And already Kyle Hornby has leapt to the front in card number six. And already it looks like Ron Garrido has followed him through to second place. Great start. Yeah, I never mentioned Matthew Round Garrido in the ones to watch, but he certainly is one to watch. He could win this championship. I was actually quite surprised when I was checking his details earlier. He's only 13 years of age, very, very tall. He's got potentially three years left in the junior class. Oh, as we've got incident at yes. the back of the field. That's just a little bit of a tangle, and that is the Joseph Reeves Smith cart number 90, along with Oliver Graham. They've come together. And what a disappointing way to start the season. A little bit too clumsy out of the hairpin. And into Wilkins for the first time. It's looking very close at the front. And a bit of an interesting start there from Suzanne Goodsold, I think, in the 62. is up into about seventh place. Yeah, done very well at the start. Uh, I was saying about Matthew Round Garrido. He's got three years potentially left in this class. But uh, look at the size of him. He's very, very tall. I don't think he'll make the weight. But he's certainly a potential winner this year, as is the man in third place there on the 54, Aaron Mills, as he slides up the inside the two of them and uh, the leader drops from first to fourth what a tank slapper that was for Hornby he's going to have to do all that hard work again and into third position is the 27 of Cameron Fisher so that's the first target for the number six Carl Hornby to get himself back up the order where is Dino Lee we're keeping an eye out for him but this is the leader Matt Brown Garrido 13 years of age we've just spoken about him from Joint Rich but he's lost the lead for the moment because up the inside goes Aaron Mills and through goes Cameron Fisher so Fisher is slowly working his way up through the field and possibly into the lead if he can get a good run on Mills. Yeah, Cameron Fisher is certainly somebody that uh, we should be looking out for. He's somebody that's uh, made a bit of a leap forward, obviously, during the winter months. Coming into Super 1 here and in a very nice position indeed as they come up to the Stratford Airpin again. Very late manoeuvre there from Hornby. I think that's moved him up into second place, has it? No, that's Round Garrido who's moved himself back into yeah, Hornby, second place. Yeah, Hornby went with him, Jake. Very, very nicely done indeed. And Fisher runs a little bit wide, but up into fourth place goes Matthew Graham in the 70. So he's got himself into a good position. But now we've got these three breaking away from the rest with Mills out in front. Not for long, though. There goes Round Garrido and there goes Carl Hornby with him. Talk about fast changing pace this is brilliant classic karting move one makes the move and the cart in behind just sticks his front nose cone on the rear bumper and follows him through all That's the st carts string through the start finish line this is cafe corner well just keeping an eye on dino lee he's uh, lost a bit of ground at the start so he's down into about sort of eighth or ninth place but he's still got plenty of time to move his way back up through the order as they make their way through to the hairpin one more time a couple of drivers making a move i think that might even have been dino lee getting a move yes i think it was he's now on the tail of fifth of the 64 i think that is no apologies couldn't quite see the number later in the race it's uh, Round Garrido out front from Hornby and Aaron Mills and these three are, three are now well clear of the rest. Battle for fourth position, Chilcott ahead of Graham and then the 27 of Fisher there in sixth position ahead of Gutzold and the leading rookie broadly in the 82. Here comes Dino Lee though up the inside of the five, squeezing him onto the left-hander. The first corner park bend, did he make it through? Oh, we just lost the picture at the wrong moment but it looked to me as though Dino Lee got a beautiful move up into eighth position and now he's on the back of 62, Suzanne Gutzold. That could be an interesting fight through the field. Yeah, Suzanne's done pretty well at the start of this race. She was, uh, I think she was the first driver to sign up for the championship. Uh, caught up with her. Aaron Mills in third. Back to Matthew Graham in fourth. 2.67 is the gap, and that's a big gap. These three well clear. Well, yes, Graham just managed to make a move on Anderson Chilcott, but Anderson is going to try and make his move back again. Into Wilkins? No, he's too far back. Fisher, then Gutzold, then Dino Lee, I believe, in the number five. No, he's dropped back even further, so he's obviously got a bit of a jostle, and Dino Lee seems to have dropped back further in the field. I'm not quite sure what happened there, so he's uh, now dicing with the 44 of George Sutton, 
So uh, a bit of hard work to do He's then for Dino Lee this time. Suffering. Oh, we're getting a little bit of loading perhaps on the run down to the hairpin from the three leaders round Garrido. He might get vulnerable on the exit here. And there goes short, there goes Sutton, sorry, on the inside of Dino Lee, trying to make a move at the hairpin. He just about made the move, I think. But Ram Garrido having to defend here from Kyle Hornby in second. And the eight, and that's uh, third position, still the 54 of Aaron Mills. Sorry, I thought it was the 84. That would have been a bit of a surprise. Chilcott still there battling with Graham for fourth position. And he's still not quite made it through ahead of Fisher and Gutzold. And up the inside, that looks like a good little move from Ryan Edwards. No, couldn't quite pull it off on the 56 of Jack Watson. But still a very good dice. And Dino Lee having to defend from George Sutton in the 44, Alan. I think, I think Dino suffering from the commentator's curse, being tipped for the championship. It's a bit of a nightmare, this one for Dino. Should be out front with these three, really. To be honest, he's got the pace to do that, but clearly he's got some sort of problem. I, I suspect that's some sort of mechanical issue for Dino. Well, fortunately, there's a long way to go in the championship. Oh, dear, a big off for these two. That's Ethan Pitt in the 23, colliding with that man, Ryan Edwards, in the 13. So they've obviously come a cropper at the Stratford hairpin. As into Wilkins we go again, and Fisher has caught up to the battling Graham and Chilcott. And a very sweet move there from Alex Forward. We haven't heard much of him in this race. He's had a bit of a... Uh, uphill climb as well in this first final of the year but uh, he's slowly starting to get there or thereabouts yeah started 16th I think uh, Alex Ford he was hoping to do something uh, better from there he was hoping he had a bit of a disaster in the earlier final as we follow these three fantastic pictures Jake from the heli camp certainly are I can't think of another British motor racing championship with pictures like this let alone uh, karting and Graham Chilcott and Fisher still battling away for fourth position as intense as the lead battle is between Round Garrido, Hornby and Aaron Mills. Aaron Mills still looking for an opportunity to outfox these two out in front of him and here comes Fisher making the move on Chilcott. Very nicely done indeed. Classic overtaking manoeuvre into Wilkins and he's got himself the he's got himself fifth position for the moment. Can he make the move through? No, not quite close enough to make the move on Matthew Graham as Dino Lee again battling with George Sutton as Matthew Taylor makes up an Another place to join them back up to Stratford hairpin the lead three you can see the gap that they've got the three behind a similar sort of battle going on between them and uh, the car in behind I think that's Suzanne Gutzold I think isn't it Jake there in yeah you can place. you can always tell Suzanne Gutzold from the uh, pink helmet what a beautiful <laughs> shot we've had all day long from this uh, heli cam and great to see it in action oh dear Luke Child's race has just come to an end that is such a, well what am I supposed to do now can, do I get back in do I <laughs> do I carry it home gesticulation <laughs> from Mills. the side just as Mills makes the move Hornby and, goes with him well Mills made the move on Hornby we didn't see him get past and then they both made the move on round Garrido so clearly that was the logical choice for Hornby let Mills go because he might make the move on round Garrido and I can get back through and it worked perfectly oh goodness me a bit, bit of jostling sucks. well what was that, that was uh, Kyle Hornby trying to get the undercut on the inside of Aaron Mills and Mills was not going to let him back through round Garrido gets through now on the Wilkins hairpin and back down to third position goes Kyle Hornby so letting Mills through he thought it was going to be a proactive decision. It's actually hurt him a little bit there, but Gutzold in the 62 has now come up to sixth position. So she's moving up. There she is. You can definitely tell her in the pink helmet. Graham's down to seventh. Forward is now eighth in the four. And I'm fairly sure Dino Lee is in that cluster of carts as Aaron Mills is now defending Allen. But here comes Gormby. Gormby looks for the switch back. Has he got round Garrido? Oh, has he, he got both get... of them? Oh, that no, not quite. But he, he does get up into second place. Still Mills that's holding on. Mills has decided... It's time to defend. He was defending on the, this hangar straight last time. He's doing it again. He's going to try and defend all the way to the line. But Hornby up the inside. Has a look. Can't get it done. But look at this. These three battling. Look at this, Jake. We've now got a six-way battle for the lead. Half a dozen drivers with a chance to win this final now. Bring it on and keep it going to the flag, boys and girls. This is magnificent. 54. Aaron Mills is your leader. And he's defending like crazy. But here comes Hornby. Look, he's signalling to Round Garrido. Come on, let's get after Mills. We need to get this win off him he's defending too valiantly we need to push for it and as a result of all this jostling Alex Forward on his own has been able to set the fastest lap of 44.47 look Hornby is signalling to round Garrido let's get after Mills come on let me through I'll get back past him and then we can have a proper battle for the victory this through, is brilliant through the chicane for the penultimate time they'll get the last lap board you can see well interestingly Aaron Mills not defending that time comes into Wilkins for the penultimate oh, time. Come on, oh, Zach, no. oh, Suzanne. What a brilliant drive she's had, and she just loses it on the penultimate lap. She climbed all the way to fifth place. That would definitely have been her best performance in Super 1 for a long, long time. 
And what a shame, she's now out of the equation. I really hope she can pick the pieces up next time and give us a similar performance. But Addison Here Chilcott, the 84, has joined this. Here we go, battle. loading. Oh, it's getting close. Oh, has he got him? Hornby. Yes, he has. Hornby is through into the lead. And through goes Ran Garrido. And through goes Anderson Chilcott. My goodness me, talk about picking up. 50p from 20 quid he's just lost it all down to the back of that queue goes the 54 of Aaron Mills and he's got to at least try and grab a podium Cameron Fisher and Matthew Graham are waiting in the wings as well but Chilcott's going for it so too is Ron Garrido can he get past Hornby no he can't Hornby has been smart he's played the game perfectly got the move done on the last lap and he's got the win brilliant driving absolutely magic from the uh, fantastic boys and girls in junior TKM what a brilliant race once I got into the leading pack, it was quite straightforward. The leaders like, were defending, so we caught them up quite quick. And then uh, something happened to Aaron, so I got past him and just kept hold on to third. Well, I started third, got into the lead about second or third lap. Uh, Len Rose to it, pushing with Kyle, trying to get away. Uh, me, Carl and Aaron Mills just pulled away, made a gap. And uh, then the fight came out second, so I'd just like to thank Noble Racing and Chris Lamar for the great kit. It was a great race, I managed it myself, just pushing the leaders away from the rest of the pack so that it would be only us three at the end and um, yeah, it worked out towards the end and I finally I got the, took the lead on the last lap and managed to keep it so I've got a good win and I would also like to thank Accelerate, Accelerate Drive Development helped me along the way in all my wins and stuff and all my sponsors. Sensational start to Junior TKM and Kyle Hornby leads the way by just six points to Matt Rangarido. Aaron Mills, Cameron Fisher, Dino Lee and Matthew Graham are still very much in the hunt. But if that's what the racing's going to be like in Junior TKM in 2014, I'm ready for it. More after the break.